Carter, and welcome to the exciting world of hip. Good morning. I'm Andrea Jackson with your wake-up call for Thursday, December 2nd, 2010. London police say the WikiLeaks founder is hiding out somewhere in southeast England. Technical details are being sorted out before they can pick him up on that snazzy red alert international arrest warrant combo special. Uh, meanwhile, back at the Amazon.com ranch, WikiLeaks has been kicked off the company's server. No offshore drilling per President Obama along Florida's Gulf Coast, at least not until 2022. Plan on the tax cuts remaining in place for everyone for the time being. The House will vote on whether or not to publicly humiliate Charlie Rango. We'll find out today. Chicago has shuttered the infamous public housing project Cabrini Green. The 70-acre project started in 1942 and housed 13,000 at its peak. LeBron James returns to Cavalier Country tonight to face the heat from Cleveland fans in his first game at home wearing a Miami jersey. The world World Cup hosts for 2018 and 2022 will be announced today, and I have absolutely no clue what I'm going to wear. 300 sextillion stars, three times as many sparklers as Sky Geeks previously counted. Now, for those of you with a tote board at home, that's three plus 23 zeros. Wallace Simpson's jewelry collection sold at auction in London for $13 million. The famous Cartier Panther bracelet sold for about $7 million. The collection was bought in 1987 for $50 million. Bucks. No word on who was cleaning out their jewelry box. Beverly Hills police were knocking on the door of a man considered a person of interest in the murder of Hollywood publicist Ronnie Chasen. He pulled the trigger on himself before cops had a chance to question him. Your Los Angeles weather forecast, mostly sunny, highs in the 70s. That is your LA Wake Up Call. I'm Andrea Jackson, and I'll ring you in the morning. Be good.